How might we determine that two lists are equal to one another using recursion? So imagine these two lists. This is sort of the simplest case we can imagine, right? We've got two lists. Each of them has only a single node in it. And we know that because the next property of each of these nodes points to null. And the data contents in each of these nodes is equal to one another, right? So we would say that A and B are equal to one another as linked lists. How might we make this statement programmatically? Well, when we uh, when, when you call and test your function of equals and you give equals a reference to A and B, right? These are references pointing to these nodes that we're looking at here. How do we make these, this statement of equality programmatically? So there's sort of three conditions we have to care about, right? The first condition is, are their data properties equal? And this is true in this case because both of the data properties are Z. The next condition that we care about is, are both of them at the tail end of this list? Or is this the last node? Do we have no more work to do? And so in this case, next is equal to null, so that's true. So we would say another condition here is, is A's next value null? And in this case, that's true. If A is null, that means A is the tail node of its list. So for these two uh, lists to be equal to one another, it must follow that B must also have a value of null in its next value as well. So is B's next value null? And so we have these three conditions here that all must be true in order for these two nodes to be equal to one another. Right? And this is how we would determine that two nodes are equal to one another uh, when we're, we're dealing with lists who have a single length, or have a length of one, right? So you can imagine if this was Y, right? If this was Y, uh, then, and actually let me just change it uh, with, the, with the text here. If this is Y, these two lists are not equal to one another because this first condition is going to fail, right? Their, their data properties are not equal. And let's imagine that if after null, instead of null, we had actually another node here and it had some other value to it, we would know that this is not going to be, these two lists are not equal to one another. And the way we would know that is because this next value is not null, right? And this one is. Right, so in this case, the second condition wouldn't be met. And you can kind of infer that the same thing could be true if B was longer than A here, and B actually had another node as a part of it, uh, we would have the same problem for condition three. So these conditions make up our base case, right? So these three conditions make up our base case. When these three things are true, then our job is done. Well, how do we think about our recursive case? Let me get rid of some of this, uh, these, these checks here. Right? So our recursive case is going to happen when we haven't yet reached the end of both lists. Right? So when we still have more work to do, we're going to test to see intuitively, hey, is the node that we're currently on in each list equal to uh, the, is one node equal to the other? And then we're going to test to see, all right, well, if that's true, can we say the same thing is true about the rest of the list? Right? So Let's, uh, let's, let's improve our lists here by making them a little bit longer. And let me just buy myself a little space. And what we'll say here is that uh, for our A list, uh, Y is connected to Z, and Y is connected to Z, and for our B list, the same is true. So we can look at this and infer that indeed uh, these two lists are equal. And uh, I'm going to make a... Uh, a, another list reference here that's a sub one that's going to refer to this node and a sub two that's going to refer to this node. And what we just talked about was in the base case, if we said equals a sub one and, uh, sorry, this should be, this should have been uh, b sub one, not a sub one and b sub one. These are sub lists. If we said equals a sub one, b sub one, we expected it true to be returned in this case, right? And to keep my convention with the other videos, let me make this pink. This is going to be a true value. 
right? So this is going to be true. When we're comparing the equality of just the sublists, we know that these are going to be true. All right. So now what we'll do is we will consider what has to happen in our recursive case. So our recursive case is when equals is called and a reference to A and B are given. And remember A is referring to this node here and B is referring to this node here. So these are the head nodes of these two lists, all right? So how do we think about whether or not these two lists are equal to one another? Well, first we can compare the data contents of each node. So just like we did before, is A's data equal to B's? That's a hard condition of these two lists being equal to one another, right? The next test, very similarly, is two. Does A have a next node? And so what this means is if A is if A has a next, that means next is not equal to null. That means there's more work for us to do, right? Additionally, three uh, would be that B also has an X. Does B have an X? And if B has a next value, uh, that means there's more uh, nodes in B's linked list that need to be checked for equality as well. If these three conditions are met, then we are going to recursively call equals with a.next and b.next. Notice that's in uh, this other notation, a1 and b1. But really in your code, you would write something along the lines of a.next and b.next. Right? Those are referring to the rest of A and B. And so what this is going to do is once we, uh, as we're moving through a list that's longer than just two nodes, equals is going to continue calling itself on sublists. When these conditions are true, we'll call uh, equals again recursively as we move through each node, uh, each list node by node. And finally, what's going to happen when we reach the, uh, the base case, the base case is here when, when those uh, A and B are both referring to null as the next nodes but have equal content, that's when you're, we're going to get a truthful uh, return value out of this function. When any of these tests fail along the way, uh, you, you're going to wind up getting a false value, right? So if any of these tests fail, then your job is done and you can say, all right, well, let's just keep returning false, right? Because when any of these conditions aren't true, uh, you, you, you know that these two lists are not equal. So these are the two cases you really need to concern yourself with. I haven't told you exactly how to turn them into code, but hopefully you've got enough intuition to take uh, the, the general concept we're looking for and trying to craft some code that implements logic similar to this. The key thing to think about recursively is that at each step of our recursion, in our recursive cases, we're going to consider, are the two nodes we're currently looking at equal? Yes, they are. And if so, we're going to recur on the rest of the list. So we're going to keep calling ourselves recursively, checking node by node, until finally the base case is going to be reached when the next value of each of these nodes is null.